A new PPP poll is out. This is the first post-election national poll. And it shows that from PPP. And it shows that Republicans are taking the results pretty hard, Lewis, I must say, saying that half of them, half of Republicans believe that ACORN, which hasn't existed for years, stole the election for Obama. This is unbelievable. 49% of Republican voters say that they think ACORN stole the election for the president. And they found also in 2008 that 52% of Republicans then believe that ACORN stole that election for President Obama. So it's a little bit of a decline, but remember, ACORN does not exist anymore. Now I have to say, we have to take into consideration how the question was asked. And the question was asked, do you believe that President Obama won fairly or do you believe that ACORN stole the election for Obama. So it is a bit of a push question, which would we agree? Right, because I would be shocked if 49% of GOP voters had actually heard of ACORN. I mean, you're, <laughs> you're setting up the question in a way so that you, I mean, if the question were, do you think Barack Obama won fairly or do you think that there was foul aliens, play. that aliens uh, made it so that he w stole the election? I mean, obviously people who think he unfairly won the election can only answer that well, right so we have to, i think it would have been the thing is it's tough to do it really fairly because then you'd have to say did president obama fairly or unfairly win the election if people say unfairly then you can say what is your theory as to what happened right and then you would have it widely across the board at the same time i think this was a little bit of a push but still the fact that 49 percent of voters were, were of republicans said that an organization that is not even in the news and hasn't been for the last year in, in the whole voter fraud discussion because it hasn't existed was responsible. It's still disturbing, I, I think, anyway. Right, Natan? Yeah, I think there's probably at least two things going on here. One is that Pauline Kael quote that apparently Pauline, Pauline Kael never said, which is, how could Nixon have won? Everyone I know didn't vote for him. Uh, and then separately from that, there's the idea that Obama isn't a legitimate president. He wasn't born here. He's not one of us. He doesn't have our Christian religion, etc. So I think both things are factoring into people just thinking the whole election was illegitimate and then they answer ridiculously. According to the same poll, 25% of Republicans said they would like their state to secede from the union compared to only 56% who want to stay and 19% who aren't sure. So basically what you've got here is 44% of Republicans either are sure they want to leave the, their state to leave the union or aren't sure. This is incredible. This is, this is over... Four out of 10 Republicans aren't convinced they want to stay as part of the United States. It strikes me as unpatriotic. It strikes me as weak and it strikes me as pathetic. Where is the strength and the big heartedness and the patriotism that built the country that supposedly these Republicans represent? Not to mention just it had being completely unfeasible for any state to survive of economically uh, leaving the, the union. I mean, the stupidity. It's stupid. If these individuals, if these individuals, Lewis, are members of the military or federal employees, shouldn't they be kicked out or tried for treason? I mean, indicating that your preference of allegiance is to a country other than the U.S. In other words, that you want your state to leave the U.S. Isn't that bordering on treasonous at this point if you're in the military or federal employee and you're one of these 41 percent? Well, it's a country that doesn't exist yet that they want to be part of. So, But it is, a, it is not the U.S. Right. It doesn't sound good. Certainly doesn't sound good. Disturbing stuff.